Almost one year ago, a video was made about a GE air conditioner that went bad in less than a year. We now have a bypass solution to fix it. Was this your problem? Like many, I saw the 88 symbol. My lights were flashing. The machine was beeping every time it was plugged in. And it would only power on for about five seconds but it was still blowing cold air. Gotta love that beeping, enough to drive you mad. Or make you think the world's gonna end. You ready? Rog. What? Aren't you gonna miss all this good stuff when you retire? A reminder and a warning that I am not a professional electrician. This is not advised that you do it yourself, but this is a DIY home repair solution. If you cannot receive a proper warranty repair or replacement from GE. Special thanks to the folks for helping out in the YouTube community. PA Balloonist video helped to understand how the system works. There is a GE 8HC 14AZW1 air conditioner. Uh, it's a GE. This is what the front looks like. And I have seen a lot on YouTube about this design and also on GE's site about how these things either won't work or they'll display 88 on display, do a bunch of weird random things, beep, not turn on, not regulate the temperature well, stuff like that. This unit has two boards. Uh, one is kind of the power board, it handles the relay switching for the compressor and the fan. And this board down here is the front board that goes basically about right here in the unit behind the front panel. And that is sort of the brains of the whole operation and uh, tells that power board what to do. Our Melnick had the wiring solution. Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you how you bypass a GE air conditioning unit. Because it's got sensors that just screwed all up. So we're gonna fix that. Passing the motherboard, which is go right here. Now I to start your repair, remove the two screws that are on the side of the unit and pop off that front display. Next, remove the screws holding the circuit board in the black enclosure. In the black enclosure, you will find this circuit board. Those rainbow wires are very important. This was the problem with my circuit board. I believe it was a moisture issue and the path was crossed. It happened in another location as well. It's a red wire and a blue wire. One trips off the detonator, the other is a booby trap. Sucker punch. Now that's perfectly diagnosed, would you say? Perfect. Time's pressing, Sid. From the videos I've watched, this circuit board is not needed. You can lop that right off. This would have been your 88 display or your temperature. That's busted. And this is all the switching for mode temperature up, low, medium, high, filter, all that stuff. The wires we connect will leave it on a high setting and we will turn it on and off using the breaker switch. In the teacher today, teach us, Marty! In 
Interesting. What, 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 what do you want me to teach you? Ooh, how do you make concentrated dark matter? Oh, that's a good question. Concentrated, huh? Concentrated dark matter. The fuel for accelerated space travel. Now, do you know how to make it? Oh, uh, come on, Morty. Isn't your grandpa, like, a scientist? Oh, yeah, but, you know, he told me that I shouldn't go around spouting off about, you know, his science and stuff. I bet you've seen him make concentrated dark matter a lot. You know, if you tell us, I'll be your girlfriend. Oh. I'm gonna get an F in class, Rick. Morty, that's not class. That, 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 that wasn't your teacher. This isn't your school. This entire world is not the world. We're inside a huge simulation chamber on an alien spaceship. Wait a minute, what? What are you talking about? It's all fake. <laughs> Morty, all of it. Nanobotic renderings. Uh, a bunch of crazy fake nonsense, Morty. I couldn't say so until they got in the shower. They won't monitor us in here. Monitor? What? A minute ago you said blue. <gasps> Did I say blue? Rick, you said blue. Mm. Oh, I meant red. You sure? But look, Raj, we can do it your way if you like. I'm my way! I'm not having quiet! Oh, I'm sure, okay? Remember to make sure your unit is unplugged. Again, I am not an electrical professional, and this is a DIY fix. But let's clean up these wires, strip them down, and uh, make them easier to tie together. There are ten wires that control that front board. We are only going to use four of them. The last six we will leave untouched. The colors we are not using are orange, blue, green, purple, gray, and maroon. The colors we are using are white, black, yellow, and pink. The pink wire may appear to be red as well. Once you've got your wires cleaned up, you can use wire caps or electrical tape to connect them. If you are more skilled than I, you could wire in an on-off switch or a three-way switch or even find another unit like this and replace the board completely. Now to test it, and to show you how to turn it on and off. Please note my final wire configuration. I individually wrap the six non-connected wires and I stuffed everything back into the circuit board enclosure so it would mount back to the front and everything would fit back inside. When I was done, this is what I was left with. I hope this DIY fixed. Help save your air conditioning unit and uh, saved you a trip from the dump or recycling center. Thank you. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more.